my YouTube viewers have been asking a couple questions, and I think I'll answer both of them today. Uh, the first one is, how did you and your wife get along so well over 63 years? Well, that's a very simple thing, I can tell you that. And the other question is, how do you make perked coffee? I'll show them how to make cowboy coffee and how to use a electric coffee brewer. You just punch the button. But how do you make perked coffee? And I'm going to show you that this morning. But to the first thing, how do you, how do I get along with my wife so well? You know, we've been married 63 years and I have never yelled at that lady or called her a name. Uh, that's totally counterproductive in anybody's life. But I've developed seven magic words that I use to settle just about any difference of opinion that we have. And they're simple, they're easy, and they always work. First, you, it's the head position when you deliver them. And the words are, I'm, wait a minute, got, got the head, uh, get the head down. I'm sorry, I'm wrong, you're right. And the seventh one is chocolate. It always works. Well, first let's look, look at the parts of the coffee pot here. This is a percolator and also a boil type. You can use it for either one, and it came with the insides. And this is the basket assembly. It consists of the diverter here. It's got holes in it. Water goes on top of it, dribbles through them on the coffee grinds, and which go in this basket here. And it's got small holes there. It won't let them go down into the bottom into your cup. And this is the percolator tube. Uh, have you ever noticed on steam engines like trains, steam trains and things like that, they have a dome on top of their boiler? Well, that dome right there works the same thing, and I'll explain it, how it works and why. So let's put this together for a, cup of, a pot of coffee and finish this up. Well, after making enough coffee to know that six cups, you need this little quarter cup of measure here full for six cups. So you put your finger over the hole there so it doesn't fall through and put it in there and shake it around and get it level. Then you put the disperser on top of it and put that on top of the stem. Now did you ever notice that a small pot boils a lot faster than a big one? So that's the principle is that, that this works under. The only water that you need to boil is what's trapped under this little thing here about three spoonfuls. And as soon as it turns to steam and comes up here, it pumps hot water up through this with it and over this to where it runs back through the coffee and back into the bottom. And as soon as it releases the pressure, the pressure goes down and releases it, sucks another load of water in here to be heated under the bottom. And that's the way steam engines work all over. And if you look at this picture of this train here, you'll see the dome on top of the boiler, and that's the way it works. So now I'm going to put this in the pot. I've already put six cups of water in there, filled it up to about here, and I'll lower this into it. Close the lid and I'm going to put it on the burner here and I'll turn it up to about medium. It'll be a little bit before it starts and whenever it does well we'll be back and talk about this some more. 
Okay, it's first started parking. You notice the water is clear that's coming up in the dome here. Okay, it's dispersing and running back over the dry grounds down there, wetting them and hydrating them. So this will start turning darker here in a minute. The little steam engine is working, puffing away there. Okay, it's starting to get a little color to it now, so the coffee is going back into the bottom of the pot. and smells good and I'm going to turn the burner off now and let it continue to park as long as the residual heat wants to, to and then we'll pour some coffee. Okay, it's quit perking. It's done and let's pour some coffee here. Oh yeah, look at that color on that coffee. I think I'll go to the living room and turn the news on and enjoy my coffee and think about what I'm going to make for breakfast. Well, thanks for watching my videos and God bless America and God bless Texas.